So at the start of the trailer, um, Adonis has evidently suffered what seems a serious uh, concussion and he's also dazed from the blow that he's endured, which on the face of it seems a, um, a continuation of Creed 1. However, Adonis was, um, you know, if you recall, he was far from, you know, dazed and all confused at the end of Creed 1. So Adonis suffers a serious knock during Creed 2 in the fashion of Rocky 3, um, which I'll elaborate on uh, in a sec. So who seems to cause this concussion um, to me looks to be Victor Drago. Uh, the son of, obviously the son of um, Ivan Drago from Rocky Four. The other fighter that Rocky fronts, the, sorry, that Adonis um, fronts up to is um, Danny Stuntman Wheeler, the boxer who knocked him out during the informal um, fight, splat, uh, fight uh, slash um, sparring session in the gym. Um, at the start of Creed 1. So also, um, another thing, when Adonis' partner, Bianca, um, Tessa Thompson's character says, you got this, you hear me? Two things with this. This seems to refer to a particular uh, medical condition that um, Adonis is suffering so it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a particular diagnosed medical condition that sees him in hospital. Um, and, and, and secondly, she says, you hear me. So to me, that possibly refers to the fact that her hearing has deteriorated. Um, plus, looking closely at, at the um, at the snippet of her leaning over him in the hospital, um, as you can see, she's um, she's wearing a hearing aid. So, um, you know, all, all all this suggests that she's you know ultimately more dependent on Adonis, not just as a husband, but uh, you know a, a, as a as a, as a friend um, slash perhaps carer. Um, so also we see Adonis's former trainer, Young Duke, who um, is um, old Duke's son. That's Apollo's um, trainer, who then became Rocky's trainer in Rocky Four. Um, and, and to an extent was his trainer Rocky III besides um, a, Apollo himself and so we see him, young Duke accompanying Adonis as Adonis struts towards the ring so as you can see here that Rocky is not present for Adonis v Victor Drago um, but see, as you can see from the trailer He's seemingly watching this bout um, from his empty restaurant, you know, his, um, his restaurant called Adrian's, which, we, which was introduced in, um, in, Rock, in Rocky Balboa, and we also saw it in uh, Creed 1 to a lesser extent. So he's sitting there, you know, watching the TV screen um, with a deep level of, you know, concern and foreboding written across his face um and to me just uh, it, that shot of him looking up there um I know for some reason it reminded me of um when he was watching that you know the cartoon fight of um Rocky um Rocky you know what's his name in, in Rocky Balboa um Oh, Mason the Lion Dixon. Um, so, 
so to me, it seems that um, the Adonis v. Victor fight is actually what um, sees Adonis end up in hospital. Looking at this trailer, it seems to me that they've potentially, uh, you know, switched around the order of things. So, you know, we, we, we firstly see him, you know, um, being knocked out and having that torch or flashlight, you know, shoved in his face. Um, so we see that first. Whereas, uh, if they, you know, chronologically, that might not be what actually occurs in the film. So, you know, it, it, it does seem that, um, What happens is, um, you know how Rocky um, is 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 talking to Adonis, you know, in the in the street that, at at night there, and he's saying to him, you know, listen, this guy is dangerous, you know. That might just be, um, I would say, like possibly. In the first act, so like what I, what it looks like, and and um, Rocky did, uh, sorry, Spencer Stallone did reveal a bit of his screenplay, and what it seems is that um, around the first act, um, Adonis becomes champion of the world by defeating Danny Wheeler. And then he, you know, um, based on his um, all his glory and so forth, he then and 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 um, you know in Rocky Three how um, Rocky was sort of you know ro- um, riding high and he's you know he was all sort of egotistical based on all his wins and so forth. Um, it might just be that Adonis is also a bit cocky in this film. And, you know, and, and I think that can be substantiated by the, you know, we see him um, with, you know, the media sort of, you know, f- filming him and the in, uh, training and so forth. And it seems that he's also um, doing some kind of, um, some kind of advertisement when he puts on the sunglasses so, um, it might just be that we have, um, we have Adonis versus Danny Wheeler, say, um, I don't know, about the 20 minute to 30 minute mark of the film, and then we have, um, so Adonis is then sort of all confident, and then he's like, confident enough to take on, um, the, um, the boxer's son who killed his father. So, you know, um, although, you know, his mum does say, don't pretend it's about your father. Um, but I think to an extent, um, that Adonis is on a bit of a revenge mission here. So, you know, he, um... He takes on um, Victor Drago against Rocky's wishes. So, because Rocky is so opposed to this fight, he um, he he doesn't get involved, and um, as a result, possibly direct result of Rocky refusing to train um, Adonis, um, Adonis is you know put at risk and. And almost killed by uh, Victor Drago, um, and or or you know or otherwise, and and this is what the trailer suggests, and and this is absolutely not what I want to see. Otherwise, Rocky and Adonis they grow apart as the movie progresses. But I th- at the uh, on the flip side, I think this runs against the spirit of the franchise, 
And there's one thing I'd add to that, is that Sylvester Stallone is very big on respecting the spirit of the franchise. For instance, um, the original ending of Rocky V had him, you know, being slaughtered by, um, by Tommy Gunn. But then he went back and he altered the, um, the ending of Rocky V to have him survive and, and, you know, um, and succeed rather than perish on the cold streets of Philadelphia simply because it conflicted with the franchise's overriding, um, underdog theme. So to me, the key takeaways are that Creed 2 may just resemble Rocky 3 in terms of, um, I don't know, like, potentially, might be the fact that we have two protagonist versus antagonist fights. Um, so that, you know, we have a fight with um, Danny Wheeler in the first act, and then uh, shortly after, I'd say perhaps um, 20, I'd say it, it can't be that much longer. I, I, if, if my theory is correct, it would have to be about 20 minutes later. We then have a fight with um, with Victor Drago. And here's the thing. I'm not... If my theory is correct, I don't know which country... Um, I don't know which country they'd be fighting in first. Um... It, it would be interesting if they, and his, and if Rocky isn't attending the first um, Adonis v Victor fight, that might potentially suggest that the first fight is in um, takes place in Russia. Um, and. So, um, and an overly cocky Adonis is almost killed by Victor Drago in this original, in this first, uh, bout, which then, so in, in, in the, you know, in, in the, um, in, in the final perhaps 40 minutes, um, at the, you know, towards the end of, um, Act 2, approaching Act 3, I mean, you know, it might not be a simple three-act structure, you know, because, I mean, Rocky 1 was, what was it, seven acts or something, I think. Um, so it might, it, th- this story might not be a simple three-act structure. It might be, you know, I don't know, it might be four or five acts. So we might have, then in the, in, you know, in the last two acts, we might potentially have um, Rocky, you know, motivating Adonis and, and sort of, you know, um, training him and, and, and upskilling him to um, to take on uh, Victor Drago once again. Thanks for listening, guys.